In the latest Nintendo Direct, Payday 2 got announced for the Switch and it is due to come out later this year in 2017. We haven't got a general release date and it's safe to say that it did take a lot of people by surprise. I flipping nearly predicted it. What I put on there is 505 Games and actually they're not a developer, they are a publisher. So they have published games like Armour, Rocket League, Payday 2, Cooking Mama, Virginia, and Sniper Elite 2. Uh, or Sniper Elite uh, V2 and Sniper Elite 3. So, what games could we be seeing from them on the Switch? Can't see Payday 2 coming out for the Switch. That was taken from my Nintendo Switch third party games predictions video, which was before. Um, the January presentation and if I went the other way I would look like a flipping wizard today seriously I would look like flipping Merlin flipping Dumbledore rolled into one I'll look like a flipping god but I went the other way I got it wrong but yeah I didn't think um, 505 games I think 505 games have sold the rights to overkill I think I might have got that wrong or um, What's the name? I think it was Shuffle Games on the trailer. Um, I think I don't think Five Hundred Five Games own the rights to Payday Two anymore. But anyway, that's not the point. Um, pretty much what I wanted to do in this video is give my reaction to it because it took me by surprise. Um, and pretty much, you know, Payday Two. I have looked at the game. I have watched some gameplay of the game, uh, and I could have, you know, bought the game on the PS Four, um, but. To be honest, y'all, the game never really interested me that much to me to actually want to pick up the game over other games that I was planning to play at the time. But because this is the first first-person shooter on the Switch, then I am interested in this game, um, and I probably will give it a chance. Um, I was interested in the game, but like I said, I just had other games that I was more interested in, more interested in. Now, it, it isn't one of those games where I'm like, oh my god, I'm really excited for this game. It's not one of those games. But because this is a first-person shooter, and this is the first first-person shooter on the Switch, then I will give it a chance. And i picked up a lot of first-person shooters on um, Wii. I've picked up Medal of Honor, Heroes 2, and I picked that up. And I picked that up, actually, before the servers went... I know, actually, I picked it up after the servers went down. Because EA shot, uh, shut down the servers before um, GameSpy shut down um, the Wii service um, in 2014, I think it was. So I picked up Medal of Honor for the Wii. I picked up GoldenEye 007. I picked up the two Conduit games. I picked up all of the Call of Duty games, including Call of Duty 3. I completed the story. There was no online for Call of Duty 3 on the Wii. I sold Call of Duty 3 on the Wii. I even picked up Ghost Recon. Um, for the Wii, but it was just on rail shooter. Um, I ended up trading that in. So pretty much the point is, I bought a lot of first person shooters on the Wii and um, Wii U. I bought a lot of shooters. It's like I bought Devil's Third. Uh, I bought 007 Legends. I bought um, Call of Duty Black Ops Two, Call of Duty Ghosts. I think that was all of the first person shooters on Wii U and all of the shooters in general on Wii U. So pretty much, I buy shooters on Nintendo platforms just because I want to see this genre grow on Nintendo pretty much. I really want this to grow into something bigger than what it is right now. Like Payday 2, this is the only game that we've got at this time of recording that is a first person shooter on the Switch and I probably will give it a shot based on that alone. But you know you gotta ask yourself this is an old port and I said, I said before the Switch was just the NX, I said the Switch needs new ports and not old ports that will be releasing at full price that are a few years late. Um, and, you know, when Payday 2 does come out, then it will come out in 2017 compared to when it did come out in 2013 on the PS4 and Xbox One, of course. Those versions will be a lot cheaper than the Switch version, which will come out at at full price so will people want to pay that for an old late port and um, you know obviously you got 
the um, portability factor in there. So maybe people might want to play Payday 2 on the go. So maybe that will be um, you know, a massive appealing factor for people. But Payday 2 has a terrible reputation for consoles. Um, apparently the console versions for Payday 2 are really, really bad in terms of optimization and in terms of support. So after reading that, I am a little bit concerned about what Payday 2 will be like on the Switch. Will it be a broken game with no DLC, no patch support? And we all know how those experiences turn out on Nintendo platforms. People just don't bother buying them and then the platform holder or the IP holder and the people making or porting the game will just turn around and say, oh, Nintendo fans don't buy our games, but if you actually made an effort to, you know, bring your game over with DLC proper patch support, then maybe things will be different. And maybe if you brought over a brand new game instead of a late port, then maybe things will be different. Maybe your game would sell better. So I can see that situation panning out with Payday 2 on the Switch. Um, but, yeah, it's just, you know, obviously, this could be, like I said before, this could be another, right, this is a late port and people might not bother, you know, picking this up. But I am willing to give it a chance. But if I do hear that this game is a flipping car crash, then I probably will avoid it like the flipping plague. But... This is the one thing that I forgot to mention. I was sort of pausing a little bit earlier um, just because I knew I forgot this. I knew I forgot something. And basically, the devs behind Payday 2, if they want people to pick this game up, then they need to include exclusive features like HD Rumble, maybe gyro controls in there as well, maybe Nintendo skins, stuff like that for your character. They need to include some sort of exclusive content in there to attract not only Switch owners that haven't played Payday 2 before, like myself, but also people that have pay played um, Payday 2 on platforms that they already own. So they need to do stuff like that. And I've got my own ideas for HD Rumble sort of features. Um, I'm just going to spoil a future video and say... You know, you're robbing banks. What, what, what if you um, you know, say so like if you're trying to hack a safe, maybe instead of actually seeing it on screen, like just seeing like a mini game on screen, maybe it will be in the Joy Cons, and you gotta feel the click in the Joy Cons, and then you will crack the safe. I think that that would be a pretty cool idea to use HD Rumble, but got other ideas as well um, for how they could use. HT Rumble for Payday 2, but that's going to be a future video. So my reaction to Payday 2 coming out for the Switch is that it is a surprise and I am willing to give it a chance, but I just can't see this game selling that well just because this is an old game and it will be coming out four years later than when it came out on other platforms. I know the Switch has only come out this year and, you know, Payday 2, it couldn't, it couldn't come out for a system that didn't exist, but the Switch needs new third-party games, not games that did come out four years ago, because that is what happened with the Wii U, and we all know how third-party support turned out on the Wii U. People didn't bother picking up games like, you know, Batman Arkham Asylum, which was a launch game. You had... Um, I can't even remember from the top of my head. You had Watch Dogs, which came out later. Um, you know, so you also had, you know, Mass Effect, um, other games as well, which came out later than um, the previous versions. Um, and they sold badly, and then people just abandoned the Wii U, and the Wii U barely got any third party games near the end of its life. So the same thing could happen with the Switch if it doesn't get brand new games but we're very early I can't even speak we are I can't even why well, am I struggling to say flipping basic English but we are very early days on the Switch so it's way too early to go old you know doom and gloom on the Switch and it's third party support but I just thought I'd raise those points now and just because it, it is something which I did raise before the Switch was the Switch and when the Switch was just the NX so yeah, I'm willing to give Payday 2 a chance, but I'm hoping that this game won't be broken. In terms of DLC, in the trailer, they um, did say that 
the Switch version will be getting a load of content. So, yeah, maybe the Switch will be getting DLC. So, um, yeah, that's just my thoughts on Payday 2. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section below. And let me know whether you will be picking up the game in the comment section below. And if you are, then I'll see you online pretty much. Because I probably will pick this game up. Because like I said, I pick up shooters on Nintendo systems. I've got a PS4 as well. I've got Overwatch, PS4. I've got Star Wars Battlefront for the PS4. Um, I probably will pick up the latest Call of Duty game for the PS4 if it doesn't come out for the Switch. So, you know, I'll pick up shooters. So, yeah, I probably will pick up Payday 2 um, on the Switch. So, yeah, that's just it for this video. Just my rambled thoughts. You've probably just seen a couple of um, the Payday 2 trailers playing twice. And then you've probably just seen Zelda gameplay throughout the rest of this um, video. I just thought... There's no point repeating it for like 10 minutes, 12 minutes. I'm sure some people will complain. I got one complaint the other day. Um, I can't remember what video, but I pretty much... Oh, it was Battalion, 1944. I put a little trailer at the start, and then somebody said, Oh, you put Zelda gameplay for the rest of this video. Oh, you know, you know, complaining about something really stupid. So if you're going to complain about that, then I'm sorry. You need to just go out more, seriously. It's just... You know, you could have you could have either watched Zelda gameplay or you could have watched a flipping screenshot of Payday 2 on the PS4, something like that. Or you could have just watched the same trailer repeating over and 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 over again, and that would have been boring to watch. And yeah, that's just it for this rambled thoughts on Payday 2. My reaction to Payday 2, bit of a surprise, but a good surprise. It's, you know... A somewhat good surprise, I should say. Even though it's an old port, it's filling a slot which, you know, the Switch didn't have. It didn't have, you know, anything in the first-person shooter genre. So, yeah, I guess it's good in that aspect. But just repeating myself, it's time to press that stop button, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.